Oh, I've finished. The member's time I commend been. this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> I call Simeon Brown. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and it's, uh, I'm glad to have an opportunity to speak in opposition uh, to this Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, the National Party agrees that every New Zealander deserves the opportunity to have a warm, dry, and affordable home. And we have made significant investment in home insulation, and we've succeeded in insulating every state house capable of being insulated. And our record stands true. We have insulated hundreds of thousands of homes over the last nine years while we're in government, which compares, which compares to 50,000 done under the nine years that, of the previous Labor government. Mr Speaker, I represent the electorate of Pakuranga in Auckland, an electorate, in, uh, an electorate which is almost completely uh, residential. And it's people, there are people who rent, there are people who own, and there are people who also own rental properties. And the question that they have of this bill is what will it do? It's called the, re it's called the Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill. But it's either going to do two things. It's going to do nothing, or it's going to impose significant impositions on them. Mr Speaker, we have not been given any subordinate legislation or regulations which go alongside this bill. It gives the opportunity for these to be created, but normally the process is that they would be signalled as to what they would be, what the standards would be, and there's been nothing put on the table. Mr Speaker, this means that there has been no opportunity for what the cost, what the cost of these, what of these, uh, re these uh, regulations will be on landlords and on people who own, own properties who will be subjected under this legislation. Mr Speaker, this government is full of kind words, but what we're looking for is action. And this, this bill while it may be called the guarantee bill, as I said, provides no guarantees and therefore will, will continue to mean that the current legislation, which we've already put in place, uh, is, 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 we're not sure whether it's improved, whether it does anything really. So, Mr Speaker, I, the National Party can't support legislation where we don't know what it's going to do, we don't know what the cost of it's going to be, and we want certainty from this government, not more and more of this platitudes and kind words. So, Mr Speaker, we will be opposing this legislation. Thank you very much. Mr Speaker. I call Reno Tirikatini. Oh, Mr Speaker. 